President Obama is coming to Indiana. He and Vice President Biden will be in Kokomo Tuesday. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields went to that town today. I'd imagine their folks are pretty excited, but do they have any idea why their city was picked? Well, Mark and Heather, you may remember that Obama made a stop in the same town two years ago when he was campaigning for president. Back then, the manufacturing town was in trouble, but now it seems to have turned the corner and people there are hoping to show off their comeback community. Just two years ago, Barack Obama was in a very different position, but so was this Indiana town he campaigned in. You know, for a few weeks there, uh, maybe a month or so, there was just so much uncertainty. The town's largest employers, Chrysler, GM, and Delphi, were crumbling. But Mayor Greg Goodnight says people in his city didn't give up. And Obama didn't give up on them either. Uh, the president uh, made a decision that no, we're going to not give up on manufacturing and we're not going to give up on uh, uh, automotive manufacturing in this country and uh, really gave uh, the industry a lifeline. And it's made a big difference, uh, you know, not just here, but I think for our country. So now the president is coming back and Goodnight is ready to show off his comeback community. Well, yeah, we've had to uh, obviously make a lot of uh, changes and some of them have been somewhat painful. This isn't the first president to stop by this Indiana town. President Harry Truman and John F. Kennedy have both made stops and each time the town rolls out the red carpet. Well, I like to think uh, that uh, Kokomo is uh, as friendly a town as you'll find anywhere in the world. And Odiot thinks there's an important lesson for the rest of the country to learn. Fortitude. Uh, because we, we take care of our own as best we can. All of the details of the visit haven't been announced yet, but you can stay tuned to News Channel 15 and Wayne.com and we'll have all of those details to you as soon as we know them. Okay, thank you, Elizabeth.